When we study decimal and percent, eventually we are asked to do multiple step problems that involve decimal and percent. So we are forced to use the bed mass memory aid in order to apply the order of operations correctly. In this example, we have 0 0.75 times 8.8 .8 plus 12 percent minus 0 0.01. The order of operations will have me do this multiplication first because multiplication happens earlier in bed mass than addition or subtraction. In some courses, you will be required to do these operations with pencil and paper and show your work. In other courses, you may be allowed to use the calculator. In either case, I'm not going to show the calculations here because this video is focused on the order of operations. And there are other videos on my website that show how to do the calculations. 0.75 times 8.8 .8 is equal to 6.6. .6. And then we copy down the rest of the problem. Plus 12 percent minus 0 0.01. The next operation we will do is this one because we have an addition and a subtraction. They are in a tie and the tiebreaker is which one do you get to first when you read from left to right. This one comes first. In order to do this, I'm going to convert my percentage into a decimal, so it becomes 6.6 .6 plus 0 0.12 minus 0 0.01. 6.6 .6 plus 0 0.12 is equal to 6.72, and I copy down the rest of the problem, minus 0 0.01. 6.72 minus 0 0.01 is equal to 6.71. That's my answer. So when we're working with decimal and percent, we are still required to use the order of operations. But this makes it easier, not harder, because the order of operations allows us to concentrate on one operation at a time. Let's look at another example of the order of operations using decimals and percents. Here we have 0 0.1 times open square bracket, 80% times open round bracket, 40.3 plus 44.7, close the round bracket, close the square bracket. We have nested brackets. We have a multiplication, another multiplication, an addition. Normally the addition would be done last, but it's inside the brackets. So we will not do this multiplication yet, we will focus on our big bracket. We have nested brackets, smaller one inside of a larger one, and when that is the case, we do the innermost bracket first. We are going to do this operation first. It turns out we are going to do the addition first this time in order to follow our order of operations.